Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Capricorn. Alrighty, I'm sorry I missed you guys last month. Things were a little too, too crazy busy. Now, happy to be with you guys and today we're doing our career and money reading for October 2022. Alrighty, hopefully everybody is enjoying this part of the fall. So, 10 cards I'm going to throw and I'm going to try to break down elements of a question you have not asked me, which relates to your goal. Okay, the what, why, how and when, where and with whom. How does Capricorn achieve success? How does Capricorn achieve success with a business idea, a promotion path and potentially even, you know what, your best path for career. So. We have some, you know what, we have some good numbers here. We have some interesting cards, interesting energies here. And the transformation Capricorn, the transformation is inevitable here. So here's what I'm seeing, guys. I'm seeing the start with a King of Cups and I'm seeing the end with a very, very charismatic Pope. Okay, now the Pope's energy is one who is a leader. I want you to consider this. Consider a leader who can communicate very, very well with different team members, stakeholders, to each their own level. The Pope's energy is someone who has charisma, okay? And they're being followed and they have the soft yet firm energy. So status is something that we are seeking, a status upgrade, a leadership position potentially, but also I can look at the Pope and say, well, people go to them. So they are able to attract demand. Okay. So you can look at it as the business professional and you can look at it as the business entrepreneur as well. You can look at it as someone with a manufacturing views, you know what, manufacturing ideas, and they want to build something that people can come to. Okay. Service providers as well. This is all about your ability to attract business, your ability to attract people. And that's why I'm saying service providers, because the nature itself may be that of services. All right, all right. So we begin it with knowledge obtained via King of Cups. And the King of Cups is, you know what, in a comfortable place of mind, you know, they come up with ideas um, and they don't act on it right away. They feel things and then they want to know more. So the wanting to know more is here with the judgment card. And I like it. So I have a business concept or I have completed a particular plan and now I want to judge it and now I want to validate it. And the purpose behind all of that is to cause a transformation around you. Okay. A major transformation as I glance at a 10 of wands and then following that the death card. Death card never scares us. The death card is the letting go of patterns that don't, you know, what deliver anymore. I am so, you know what? tired of doing things a particular way. I have the framework. I know how things should go, but now it's time to put different flesh. The flesh is activities, the style by which you out, you outreach, you reach out to the market, the style by which you attract them towards you. I love it. I love it. Now the 10 of wands is the exciting new beginning. So we're beginning a transformation. The transformation should take us towards a place of status, authority, the ability to attract either customers or other stores, you guys. Alrighty, alrighty, Capricorn. And the asset available here, we have a four of cups, which means you have the ability to uh, form a framework, like you have the framework here with the skeleton, and you have the ability to form it, even though it is not, I don't know what analogy to use now. I'm trying to say it's not necessarily rock solid just yet, but you have a structure and then you're going to reinforce that structure once you, in, once you receive a lot more feedback. Now you have a beautiful opportunity again, Capricorn, to receive more feedback that would allow you to solidify this four of cups into potentially a four of wands, into a four of coins, whatever four that brings us the money. Okay, I like the four of coins because it suggests to me, oh, we have figured things out high level and then we have tried it with others. We received input. It became a money making machine. Now it's an investment foundation. Okay, we're in this process. Okay, hopefully, and I positively project that on you Capricorns. Okay, the opportunity of 
Additional collaboration, guys. Look at the temperance. The temperance, well, collaboration, but it could also be collaboration with someone with expertise. huh? So you get this opportunity here and they feed into your ideas and your ideas get endorsed or your ideas get refined, if you will. So you have that kind of an opportunity coming your way. Your outlook right now is how do I achieve all that? Okay, I'm in the right place of mind. I'm going through this personal transformation. Okay, and now I'm ready to receive and I'm ready to also send out a grounded energy, a grounded energy of creation. Your timing here represents a three of cups, which to me talks a little bit more about collaboration. So your timing note involves working with others. The purpose here is the seven of cups to validate this idea that the king may have generated. And the beautiful, beautiful possibility is a soft and attractive one with the Pope. All right, all right, Capricorn. So 10 more cards and now let's see where do we go from here, okay? With another 10 and a nine. Oh, look at that, look at that, huh? So how often do I get the death card and the devil together? Oh boy, not that often, but when they do come, you know what? The suggestion is pretty straightforward. Do not, do not, okay? And there's hallelujah at the end here with the 10 of cups. Okay, I'm getting too excited now. Nines and tens, but most importantly, guys, the devil is in the detail. The devil is complacency, Capricorn. The devil is complacency. The devil is false hopes, false fears. The devil is be comfortable. Things are all right. Things are okay. Okay is the enemy of great. Okay? <laughs> okay is the enemy of great. Great? So, what a set of energies that we have here. We have the Knight of Swords, and then we're followed by a Ten of Coins. The Knight of Swords who has decided. Okay? It's been judged. It's been kind of validated, and now I'm taking action. And I'm taking action, bringing you guys on board with information, and I will be sharp about it. And as soon as I begin gathering approvals, this will become a business template. Here is now a Ten of Coins. <laughs> That suggests that's the new work mode, okay, for Capricorn, having gone through an understanding of what holds them back. Now that you know what holds you back, will you go out and take on the world? I believe you will, Capricorn. It's tough sometimes when we don't know what is around us, okay, in terms of hiccups, holdbacks, hurdles. A lot of times we, you know what, we act macho we act like we can take this on we can take this on oh i will sort this at this point or i will resolve this at this point and then it becomes a mountain of things that capricorn has to tackle and that's why i'm a little bit pontificating here around the devil the devil do not okay and i've heard this and i'm not preaching only i'm saying this to yours truly as well do not let a feeling of comfort, temporary comfort, hold you from executing on your transformation plans, okay? You have the willpower. You have it in you. You have the success opportunities. You have the right energies in there. So let no complacency hold you back. All right, all right, Capricorn. Asset available is to initiate, okay? So we had a plan here with the Knight of Swords, and now we're looking at this is how Capricorn will lay the plan, okay? This is how they will explain it. Facts again. Facts and humility to show others that this is not an idea or these are not suggestions or uh, projects based on ego or feeling only. No, we have done the due diligence. We have done the due diligence and we looked at the devil in the detail. And this wins you a ton of credibility, Capricorn when you have, you know what, a good grip on information, on data. You're convincing and you don't have to get into confrontations. You're convincing and you don't have to get into arguments. You let the data speak. Okay. Alrighty, nine of wands as to the opportunity note and it suggests you're excited to take that next step. You're excited to advance now that we have achieved a little bit of a balance here. Now that we have also done enough collaboration 
that we have merged a few ideas. We've improved our own idea. Here I see you with the star moment, looking at the situation and you know what, this is the readiness to take action. You have already done the check-ins, we have already departed from complacency and now we're in a let's recharge the battery Capricorn, let's recharge the battery, let's recharge the battery in the way that you become the best version of yourself. So you're taking good care of yourself. Now you guys know I don't talk about health, but you're eating well and you're sleeping well. And if not, you're working to achieve that because mental clarity is going to be your key for the next phase to come. And you've got celebration to come, okay? Timing note says plant your seeds now. Do not hesitate, do not hesitate. Take on the devil that holds you back. Take on the new transformation, Capricorn, and you become the Empress. Not a bad energy to have, eh? With the number three again, with the ability to create the life of luxury that you seek. Okay? Okay is the enemy of great. Your ambition is up there. You have tools and energies around. You just have to decide to cause the transformation. Ten of Cups is your possibility here over the Pope. Okay, so not only do we attract customers, not only are we attracting potential partners, not only do we attract as Capricorn the leaders, okay, people to follow, but it's a happy Zen environment. So this was your reading Capricorn, which I hope you guys liked. Let me know what you thought. I just want to say something to you. You have a lot of success ahead of you here. Okay, you have a lot to work with understanding what's been holding you back and now taking on the world in a new way. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought. And as always, Capricorn, you guys should know, we do love you madly. And bye for now, guys.